Hi everybody in YouTube land, this is Michael Zingara from the 28mm Wargaming Sci-Fi channel. And uh, today I'm going to do an unboxing of a T-34 slash uh, medium tank from uh, Warlord Games for the Bold Action game. It's a 156 scale uh, plastic model. Let's, uh, let me read the fluff real quick. Alright, so what I'm showing you is a picture of a real tank, and then there's uh, the different versions throughout the war. You can do early to late war with these. And this is what they got to say. The T-34 tank design is arguably the most important tank of all time, with over 84,000 made and innovative design features. The T-3476 saw action in late 41 and was a significant leap forward in tank design. A rugged, no-nonsense anatomy and wide tracks enabled it to cope with the mud and the snow of the Eastern Front. It married the perfect combination of thick, sloped armor and an efficient gun along with extreme sturdiness, reliability, and ease of manufacturing and maintenance. German tanks struggled in the cold conditions of the Eastern Front. The rubber peeling away from the road wheels, the engines being slow to start, and needing to be and needing to be slowly warmed up. Machine guns jamming constantly uh, narrow tracks of the Panzer three and four, causing them to sink in the snow and the mud. The T thirty fours ran circles around the. Struggling German hardware, especially the Luftwaffe, which was more often not grounded to, due to bad weather, and uh, so couldn't harry the uh, Soviets. This kit allows options assembling the uh, tank of the year 41, 42, 43 pattern T-34-76 uh, with their distinctive turrets. Alright, so basically you get the decals and stuff. Now this was the very first bold action and I remember why I didn't really want to play bold action because this shit is so fucking far out of scale it's unfucking believable. Alright? This is closer to uh, and you know I noticed with World War II games in general they're always out of scale if it's not the fucking vehicles it's the planes doesn't matter what company you buy, this tank is effing tiny. So let's pull it out and look at it. I mean, don't get me wrong, the details are there. Alright, so it's on two sprues. It's basically a war game grade model. It's not super complex. There's your decals that are too small to really, uh... I mean, you can use them, but what a pain in the ass. By the time you get the numbers out and stuff, you maybe can do two or three tanks. Alright, so there's the instructions. There's the different turrets for the turret design, which is nice. So they, they do tell you when what's what for those that you care about. But oh my effing god, is this shit tiny. Look at these turrets, look at my fingernail. Alright, and what's great about this kit, to prove my point, is they give a little tank commander, which is right there. Look how small he is. Look at my finger. That guy's like fucking uh, 20 mil, if that. The, in my opinion, this is 18 mil. Uh, 135 to 140 is 28 millimeter. Who is Warlord Games trying to kid? Are you just cheap or what's the deal? All right. I got a lot of respect for your uh, sci-fi game, but uh, fuck, I'm never playing uh, bold action. You know, it might be a great rule set, but fuck, I'm not using your vehicles, that's for damn sure. Now, I won this for free, which is great, and I gotta thank the guy from the sci-fi uh, war game channel, because I'll fucking never buy a, a, a one of these models ever. It's so out of scale. How tiny that is. Tiny. Here's my th finger. Here's the turret. You can put 15. This is like a 15 mil vehicle. 
You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. So, very basically, there's all the options. I mean, they make good models, but fucking... You know, this ain't the 80s. Why are we still having these scale issues? And I know it's a big argument with everybody. You know, 15 millimeter is supposed to be 1 100th scale or whatever. But you guys, you're not even close on your scale. So that's what it looks like. There's some extra parts. Real simple put together. But overall, Warlord, I'm disappointed. You do a lot of good things, but oh my god. Your vehicles suck. And that's my opinion. And I hate to say it. You put out a lot of good games. But fuck if I ever, I'm glad I didn't pay for this. Alright everybody, have a, a good day. And sorry to use all the bad language and stuff like that. Uh, basically with the Sci-Fi Wargaming channel, we don't do anything as far as Patreon or anything like that. If you'd like to support the channel, please donate miniatures. We use them at our community center at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, basically if you got unwanted, unloved, unused stuff from dead games, things you're never going to use. Uh, please donate to the channel. Contact me and I'll, I'll get the shipping to come out to uh, Chicago. And, uh, you know, even if it's only 10 guys, it's no big deal. You know, everything adds up. Uh, the community center services about 80 kids. So uh, these miniatures aren't going to go unused, aren't going to go unloved. So uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for... Uh, donating and stuff like that uh i probably won't use this tank what i'm gonna do is make this a subscriber contest i'll build it and paint it and then uh 100 and, when we reach 150 subscribers i'll randomly draw and i'll do a couple other prizes too and uh i'll basically ship it out to you and you'll have a nice tank to play your uh, flames of war because you know if you I understand it's the best we got out there for affordable. 30 bucks, this is a disappointment. But basically, guys, uh, may the dice be with you. And you guys have a great uh, day.